Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me. This is going to be week one of the Project Battle Station discussion. So, this is going to take a few months, I think. I'm not going to be building this thing in like in a week or two. I want, to, I want to really take my time to build this thing because I just think it's a good idea. So first off, I want to recognize anyone that's already taken the liberty of supporting the project. Appreciate it. I have... I, I thought long and hard about whether to include like the full name and I just decided it didn't make sense, you know. I don't want anyone to feel like their anonymity is being um, taken away. So if you did contribute, then I hope that you recognize your name when you see it and you know who you are. So Janny, thank you very much for helping out. Devin, David, and Florian. Um, I'm thinking about adding more charts and graphs and stuff because I like charts and graphs and stuff. They're fun. But um, I put, I'm putting 50 bucks a week towards this, so... At the very least, eventually I'm going to get it built no matter what, just because I'll keep putting money toward it. But um, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, you know, about 40, what, 45 bucks altogether that other people have 40 bucks. That's awesome. So thanks, guys. Appreciate that. So week one is going to be CPU. We're going to talk about the computer processor, central processor unit, whatever it's called. Right now, I have the i5-3570K Ivy Bridge DTE1, whatever the heck that stuff means. Here's what I know about it, and, and I, okay, I know enough about computers to build them, but I'm not, I don't do this for a living, so I don't really know everything there is to know about it, and, and I want to preface this discussion by saying that, yes, I could just go over to Reddit and read up on, like, R, how to build a PC type thing, and, like, learn about specific things, and I'm going to do that, but I want to have you involved, I think it'll be fun, so... I would rather learn from you than just read about it myself because I just think that's kind of the better way to do it. So, so I have the iCore 5. What was the number again? 3570. Let's find that. I have the 3570 iCore 5. Right now, that's about $208. It sounds about like what I paid for it before. It's 3.4 gigahertz. I did overclock this one to 4.5 because this. I remember reading about this processor. It's it's a really stable overprocessing, or sorry, overclocked processor. So I over, overclocked the crap out of it. I have an aftermarket heat cooler sink thing, whatever cooler thing somewhere in there. I don't, I don't know where it is in there. But um, so I haven't had any heating issues with it at all. Is it even in there? It might not have listed it in there. But it's a big fan, you know, like one of the ones with the thermal paste and stuff. Way bigger than the normal thing. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but. Here's what I know about processors. This this number here, the number of cores, seems to be pretty important. Seems to be related to how fast I can do things like um, render videos. And one of the reasons that I don't do a lot of editing is because editing sucks. And it's not fun. And it takes forever to render. Like, okay, here's my setup. I'm, I'm actually encoding while I'm recording this right now. My process is I record a video with fraps and then I encode with handbrake. A 20 minute video takes about 15 minutes at most to encode with handbrake at 1080p at any quality level. So I'm basically spending, my processor is spending 75% of the video duration to, to encode it. When I use something like Sony Vegas, which I have and I pay for and I never use, it's like, it takes anywhere from one and a half to two times the video length to, to render. So I don't usually like to, um, I don't usually like to edit, but if I had a faster processor, there's a pretty good chance that the rendering would be quicker. And when we get to this, the week where we talk about graphic, you know, pro, uh, GPUs, it might make a difference too, because some some programs can take advantage of your your graphics um, card to to actually help out with the processing. But so what I'm thinking is that I'd like to have maybe one with more cores. That that seems like that'd be a good idea. And I know that the 3.4 gigahertz indicates, you know, how fast it actually does stuff, so that's good. So let's start with some filtering type stuff, and I think what I want to do is build three potential systems. I'm going to do it like the good system, the better system, and then the best system. And let's say after three months, I'm going to just end up buying the computer no matter what. And I'm just going to buy whatever I can afford based on how much I put into it. And whether it's the good, better, or best, doesn't matter, just we'll buy whatever. Now, some people have commented saying that I don't really need to build a new system, and it's it's kind of true. I mean, my current computer's pretty good. The problem is that um, 
it, it was built primarily for just gaming and I do need, I feel like I need something a little bit better to do gaming and recording. You know, it just, it wasn't designed for what I'm planning on doing now. So first off, I want to filter, actually it's just two processor companies apparently, AMD and Intel. I'd be fine with considering AMD. Um, I'm pretty sure AMD is the, aren't they the one that make the graphics or? Uh, yeah, I'm using an AMD graphics card right now, so whatever. I've heard NVIDIA for graphics card is actually better. I don't know. But um, as far as cores, I definitely don't want to go down in cores, so we'll exclude everything except for 8, 6, and 4s. Speed, I don't want to go slower than what I have right now, so we will exclude everything below 3.4. Unless, of course, I, I guess I don't know. Does that... Uh, let's go down to 3. Maybe an 8-core processor at 3 gigahertz is better than... I don't know. I, I don't really know. I don't know what any of the socket stuff means. Integrated graphics, what the hell's that? Oh, that's like the onboard graphics card for processors. Or, sorry, for motherboards. I don't want that. That's dumb. I don't know what this number means either. TWP, what is that? Like your, how much wattage it uses? Doesn't tell me what it is, but, okay. And we could filter out poor ratings, but I don't, I mean, these don't have any reviews. There's a lot of them. I guess we leave them on there for now. All right, so I usually like to sort by price because that's generally an indicator of quality, and then I use the, the rating to help decide from there. So like to me, this, this one jumps out right away. It's got performance data, it's got lots of ratings, 254 people have commented or whatever on it. Apparently there's a combo, whatever that means. Like if we look at it, maybe combo, combo, combo what? Add combo to part list by combo. So combo deals, super biz combo, you can get the iCore, Intel Core i7-3775-0, 3.5 quad core, plus an Asus Maxus, Maximus Extreme motherboard for $2 off. Wow, that's retarded. Why the hell would I, <laughs> oh my god, $2, I don't care about $2. So let's see. I guess I kind of would like to get rid of the ones that have very little data. Let's get rid of the ones that aren't at least three stars. They have to have at least some reviews. And I think you can filter by price. Can you not? I guess you don't really need to because you can just kind of organize it that way. I should probably clear the parts lists too. Oh, parametric price alerts. Log in to set alerts if the price of any item in the filter view drops below a set threshold. I'm going to want to do that. I need to just remember my login information. So, you know, this one I think jumps out to me as like a, as a pretty good pick. It's, I, I don't, I mean, it's, it's barely any faster than the one I have right now, but it says i7, that's better than i5, right? It costs more money, must be better. Although, you know, the one that really actually interests me with that is this AMD, four gigahertz with eight cores. And it's actually not that expensive. So, I'm gonna write these down. Let's, um, let's do this. We're gonna create a new document and we're gonna use this to, to keep track of things. So, I'm thinking that I like the idea of this one. I like the idea of, well, I already have that one. So I'm not going to buy the same processor. If I had to, I'd just cannibalize this one and put it in the new computer. What, what appeals to me about the i7 is just that it's a newer generation that must make it faster, right? I don't know. Um, it's a lot more money though, which seems kind of silly to me. On the other hand, that core, the AMD, I've heard that Intel... Someone was saying in a comment on the Reddit discussion forum that we started for this that... Intel is like getting lazy or something, that AMD processors are actually better right now. Maybe? Is that true? I don't know. But I mean, check this thing out. Four gigahertz as a stock speed. I'm sure that could be overclocked. Seems like a pretty high power usage, but who cares? I mean, you just get a big, get a big power supply. It's got good reviews. It's pretty inexpensive. So we like that one. At least I do. You tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. And then I guess let's also look like by speed. Maybe there's one that's really fast. So AMD is definitely winning out on speed. On actual base speed. 
Then you got the I-74820. It's pretty fast. So my, my, my intent in making these videos is I'm not planning on making the decision right now. I'm going to put this video up, and then over the course of the next six or seven days, I'm going to be reading your comments, and then we'll make the decision between this video and the next. And then I'll put those on a parts list. We'll have three separate parts lists that are going. And then the next topic is probably going to be motherboard. Probably going to work our way across the top. Um, but I was told that CPU is the, being, the thing that you kind of want to build your, build your system around. And we'll pick a motherboard that's compatible with our CPU. There's actually some really cool settings in here where you can make sure that all of your parts are compatible. Worst thing you want to do is build a computer only to find out that the damn stuff can't fit together. Or there's not going to be enough supply in your case and that kind of stuff. Sorry, not supply, but room in the case. So I found two that I'm pretty interested in. They seem they seem good. I don't know. I guess I could consider a six core, but it seems to me like if you're going to go bigger cores, you should just get an eight core. Um, price wise, the i core. I mean, maybe these are better. They they have to be better, right? You got a 3.5 gigahertz i i Intel Core i7. It's a damn expensive processor, but it's the extreme edition. It's got to be good. So let me know what your thoughts are. I, I think that the one that really sticks out to me the most was that AMD A core at 4 gigahertz. Because even if I didn't overclock it, it's actually about the same speed. I'm going at 4.5 right now. But you double the number of cores, that's got to be a good thing. Doesn't it? Has to be. So, okay, well this is uh, week one. Look forward to seeing your thoughts and comments. And I do appreciate any kind of feedback you guys can give me. Um, if we go over to Reddit, we can look at the f the subreddit's kind of not blowing up yet, but people are people are showing up, people are talking. I like it. Come on, Reddit. So somebody, <laughs> why the prestige lately was a bad idea. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But um, here's this thing. Yeah, two new comments. Cool. So we were discussing it over here, and um, somebody, look at this. People have put in a lot of thought. This guy here. Wingman 1000 has got some good information. We were talking about like the raid, the differences between RAID 0 and RAID 1 and whether we should consider that. I don't think we really should. I got an SSD drive. It seems to me like SSD is just simpler. And then this is awesome. Check this guy out. CPU, CPU cooler, memory, disks. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. So please uh, facilitate the discussion. I look forward to talking to you about this. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is the AMD better than the Intel these days? Should I just go for 8 cores? Should I try to get the Intel with 6 cores? I don't know. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. See you again soon.